Bear Valley Sport Shop, Boot Talk. Last time we talked about ski tuning. We got your skis sharp. We got them looking good. Perfect bevel, flat bottom. We did waxing. We have the perfect wax for the day. Today would have been yellow wax because it was raining. And that's the story about waxing. Now, we're going to go for boots. Getting the correct boot is takes about two hours because we have to do more than just fit the boot. We have to measure the size of your foot, how long it is, how wide it is. We measure with this machine here. tells us how wide. And then we can pick a pair of boots that fits your skiing style. So if you're a beginning skier, you would have a softer boot. If you're at an intermediate skier, you'd have a bit stiffer of a boot. And if you're an expert skier, you'd have a stiff boot. So we're looking to, to match the boot with your skiing style, the shape of your foot, and of course, number one, comfort. So the first thing we do is measure the boot, the foot, and we come up with a size. And we're going to say that it's a 26.5. And the next thing we're going to do when we when we narrowed it down is we're going to take the boot apart. We're going to pull the liner out, and we're going to take your foot and put it inside the shell in there with a sock. You're going to slide your foot up right to the end, and then. With the magic fingers, I'm going to measure how much distance there is between your heel and the plastic in the back of the boot. And if it's this much, it's perfect. If it's this much, it's too big. If it's this much, it's going to hurt. And what we're trying to do is get a performance fit that feels good, is the right width, the right length, and the right performance range for you because you are what count. So when we look at the boots, we have children's boots, the famous pink boot with two buckles for small children, easy to flex, fairly upright stance, a lot of fun for girls, especially in the pink. You don't have too many boys doing pink. And then we go up to a little more performance boot for, for boys and girls. Three buckles, a little stiffer, a little more performance. And kids like on the Devo team, beginning Devo team, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, in that range. Then we go to a boot that has four buckles, more performance, a little more forward lean, designed for children who are up in the older kids in Devo and children who are performance skiers ski all mountain, all around. Not too stiff, good forward lean, and a nice shape, and of course the ever famous orange race color, which makes it even better yet, very fast. In adult boots, we do, we do, we measure the, the width of the, the foot and we pick out a, in millimeters, the width of the boot. This boot is 98 millimeters wide, and that goes in a narrow foot. If you have a narrow foot and you get a narrow boot, it's the greatest. There's no squirming around, your foot's glued down, and you make a move and the ski turns. It's perfect. If a narrow foot goes in a wide boot, then it's very uncomfortable. The foot's moving around. It's not uncomfortable. It's loose. Up, the toes lift, wiggle, move side to side. The heel lifts. Not a, not a good match. So you're trying to get a boot that feels like it's kind of vacuum bagged in there. No issue points. Your toes not smashed. There's room for your width of your foot. Your heel's held down nice and tight. And you have good forward lean. So there's a boot to match each foot shape and skiing style. So we have a 98, a 101, 
and a 104 millimeter width boot. One to match each foot, each width foot. So the 104 is going to get a big, wide boot, this big, wide foot. For the women's boot, with a lady with a big calf muscle, an athletic leg and foot, they do is they cut this out a little bit, they make the boot a little lower, and it fits the foot uh, calf so that it doesn't cut off the circulation. If you, if you have to, if it cuts the circulation off, your foot, feet get cold. If you have to buckle the boot over on the fourth and fifth rung of a ladder, then you usually cut off the circulation and your toes get cold. So the way we, so we have women specific boots. This one happens to be very furry and friendly and warm. But mainly it's cut out in the back for the calf muscle and the boot overall is lower. So we have another woman's boot, same thing, cut down for the calf muscle. Uh, notched out for the calf muscle so it'll fit in there and won't cut off the circulation. High instep, wide boot, big foot, little person. Now, the trick in making this whole thing work is to have a, what comes in the boot is this piece of foam. And it's just a piece of padding that sits in the bottom of the boot. And the way they make the boots bigger or smaller is by half sizes is by making this thicker or thinner. This is this one is made for a 27.5. If it was thicker, it'd be made for a 27. Shell sizes go 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Those are the shell sizes. So if it's a half size, doesn't really count because we're going to build a custom orthotic. This is made out of cork. It's made in two pieces. It takes about 40 minutes to do. It's a match of your arch of your foot in a neutral in a neutral position, not tipped in, not tipped out. Has a heel pocket for your heel, toe crest for your toes. This makes your foot warmer, gives you higher performance for edging, little toe, big toe makes the boot fit 30% better. We recommend it for everybody. This is what comes in the boot. This goes in the garbage. We put this in. If you can't do this type of footbed, you can do a Superfeet footbed, which is less expensive. It just gets trimmed out. It's an average arch. And if it fits, it does the job. It's a lot less expensive and a lot less time. This just gets trimmed and slid into the boot. Some thing needs to go under your foot for your arch. That will stabilize your foot. If you have a flat foot, it will help you edge. If you have a high instep and a high arch, it will help distribute the weight evenly over the toes and heels and give you less foot pain, help you absorb shock, fill in the gap. So what do we know about boots? We know that they are the connection between you and the ski. It makes all the difference in the world. The, the better the boot fits, the better you ski. We take it all the way to aligning the boot and actually canning it to fit your leg shape and align the, the center of your leg, your tibia, your knee to the center of your foot so that you're centered and your movements can be equal and you can have parallel leg shafts when you tip your skis on edge. If you want the best performance, you need to have your skis canted and aligned. Take some time, take some money, but it's worth it. It's the best. It makes a difference. If you want to ski good, come to the Bear Valley Sports Shop and we'll fit you in the best boots ever.